Hello? Hi. Hi. Hi, um, yeah. Hi, Nick. Hi. Are you guys sharing the studio? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you're one of the new members here, yes. too, right? Yeah. Ooh, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what are you? Uh, what are you guys working on lately? Yeah. So we're working on this inverted installation. Um, it's going to take records from different locations around the world. So right now. Two fifty to thirty total. Two fifty wow. to three hundred total. Oh. That'll be kind of installed everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to talk about the process? Yeah. So uh, these are done in a specific firing where uh, we feed wood for about three to four days cool. to get the temperature and for the wood kiln. Um, that's why it looks kind of brown and ashy. There's a lot of ash on it, and then mm -hmm. ash melts with the clay and it kind of bounces together <coughs> and gives us like glossy, sometimes matte texture. Uh, so we've been working on this house for the last what like a month or so. Yeah, it's our summer. Yeah, <laughs> so it's summer fun. Yeah, so it's been pretty crazy. Um, the fa the fastest we've done is like we made like four forty or something a day. Fifty a day. Yeah. So we just been cranking it out, trying to trying to finish this project. Yeah. So um, Nick is currently faculty at RISD, and so he fixed this really large wood kiln in Providence, oh. um, which is where we have been going. So also like transporting this. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, a journey. Yeah. Yeah. So we had this journey last night. Where yeah. Oh my God, he was trapped in the rain? Yeah, we were stuck in the rain and all these tiles in there. Yeah, Nick was like worried about our safety. I was worried about like the tiles. We <laughs> 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 were like halfway in the water. Are the tiles going to be okay? Like, like, the tiles. <laughs> like, so much like, are we going to be okay? <laughs> Just made a save? Yes, they yeah. yeah. They're, they're all here. Um, we're yeah. here. <laughs> oh, so gotcha. Oh, this, right. Yeah, we have a, a 160 total right now. Yeah. So we're still making More it. More than making, yeah. But, are you like planning on showing this? Is it just laying on the floor or no. are we? Yeah. So um, we're going to build like a wooden skeleton sort of all around the space um, to break this kind of like aesthetic mm. and then it's going to be kind of on the collar. Yeah. Nice. So it'll kind of be like an immersive experience. Right now we just have to like lean them out to see how they look. Right, and yeah. A couple of them need to be patched. Are each of them a uh, unique design? Yeah, they're, they're all individually unique. Wow. Um, different. Yeah. Uh, I think we're getting a little better. Faster. Faster, <laughs> yeah. yeah. How do you guys work together like collaboratively on, on um, this? Like, uh, well, Design-wise, is that like fully oh, collaborative? Yeah, it's all process. very, very collaborative. Um, I oh. feel like Nick has the background in the ceramics, so obviously like a lot of the technical details like come from Nick. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, everything's pretty... I mean, we're also pretty instinctively, so we kind of will make them. Um, we had this idea that they were all kind of like purposes mm. um, that also kind of reference Nature elements, um, and then you just sort of come up with it. Gotcha. Yeah. And I'm very detail oriented, so she does a lot of the, the detail work and I kind of build in the general shape. So <laughs> that's, that's where our teamwork comes from. Wow. Do we have a title for this? Or? No. <laughs> so yeah, we're not sure. Well, so we're working on an ongoing project called mm. Blood Memory. Mm. So blood Memory is a term that is used a lot in Shemite and it literally refers to the experience and practice of recalling the memories of your ancestors. Mm. And so it's going to like, it, it culminates in a larger film slash book. Um, um, so the space and the cave will also be sort of existing as a site where we're going to film different performances. And we've also filmed um, at the Trading DMC, we're going to be filming in Hawaii, Ooh. states sort of all over. Right. Um, because you came in as like a filmmaker. I was yeah, at the... like performance-based film. Yeah, right, that's yeah. sort of my main practice. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you're so you're still gonna make a film out of uh, this body of yeah. Work? Yeah. So gotcha. they kind of exist as autonomous objects, but they'll also exist as an installation. It also exists as a space performance mm. film. So I think it's multi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get more than one use out of it. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of how these garments became the sculpture of objects. Oh yeah, wow! Yeah. Um, initially, made the garments to wear them for mm. the performances. So then, after the performance, we had all these garments that we didn't know what to do, so we turned them into sculptures. Whoa! Yeah. So now they're 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 in the sculptural form. We're trying to put that back into uh, performances. So yeah. Full cycle. So Whoa. Part of the yeah. yeah. This one's really interesting. This one actually my mom wore it um, wow. at the wedding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to tell you. <laughs> Did she just get to, get to that to you like for, yeah, for art's guess, sake? Yeah, I don't know that she'll ever know. Did she see it? No, she didn't see it. But she just like expects at this point. That. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, the detailing is incredible. And then the is that actual soil or yeah, just like wow? Yeah, a lot of soil, sand, moss, flowers, salt. Salt. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, somehow like it the the shape of it almost looks like a crucifix. Like Yeah, the, we were thinking yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, we wanted there to be that element to it. Um, yeah. Especially since we're referencing like rituals and there's like that right. um yeah. happening in Yeah. Yeah. And then even in some of the sculptures, like you were talking about blood memories and their actual like stains of it that looks bloody almost yeah. like yeah is that how do you even achieve that is that like a gloss that's on uh, top of it yeah or? so that's that's when there's a lot of ash that right. you know, you know, lands on the clay it turns uh, into liquid during the fire uh, kind of melts around the pieces yeah yeah it's really interesting like glazing even because the liquid will be like white yeah. but you just have to keep in mind it's magenta yeah so the colors yeah. all change the and then we're gonna see it <coughs> um, in the kiln when the when everything's kind of really hot and it's like molten or molten. Uh -huh. um, and you know the hotter it gets, the whiter it gets. So you know eventually it just become like this white light. <laughs> 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 That's when you know it's done. It's like okay, let's turn it off. Wow. Yeah, that was a crazy. It was like a four day process. And I didn't sleep really straight. Whoa. Yeah, it was really <laughs> <intense>. <laughs> so that, that in itself becomes a yeah. yeah. Right. Also because like no one else has experienced yeah. and you have to feel the really really specific way. So right. Like, you have to yeah. 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 So when we when we were like loading the kiln inside this um, giant kiln, she was like, Can we turn this into a performance? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's literally like how we work all the time. It's like, can we do something with this? Yeah. And we'll be bragging, we'll see something like <laughs> Did you see that awesome fire? That'd be really cool in the performance. Yeah. You know, right. <laughs> Also, yeah, it's like we actually shot a footage of a performance in Korea where Nick did like a what was it? Like a pizza. So yeah. we dug a pit, oh. we had a bunch of powder in there, and then we lit on fire. We kind of filmed the whole process um, into the performance. Yeah. Um, so I was wearing a garment and um, started this fire, and we just kind of do a ritual around the fire. So, yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to, we're always kind of seeing. Yes, yeah, with your um, with the with the films that you guys made, it's like it's very organic too. But it's not like, like it's not trying to. It's not like a set or anything. Like something of it, it seems very organic that it's moving uh -huh. the pace and the cut. So yeah, yeah. 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 No, I, mean, I feel like a lot of the sites, especially somewhere like the DMZ, um, one you can't set up something elaborate because it's right. like there's so many restrictions. But also, I feel like a lot of our especially performances that take place outside, it's just responding to sort of the site that we're at. Yeah. Um, there was this one site at the DMZ, it was by the water tanks. It was like a site of mass execution during the Korean War, and it was one of these like unclean bodies. Wow. And so like we, we did this sort of like, um, performance where we were working with two dancers who would do this like improvisational dance in response to that. And a lot of that was like unplanned. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you can really feel the weight from that place. And I think that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Like, my feeling is that we're, we'll be filming these places, um, these natural places where sometimes, yeah. um, you know, we're going to places. And to just kind of take that on and then add on to it. Yeah. Right, yeah. Not all the sites are that. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're dead bodies everywhere. Yeah. Hudson Valley. Hudson Valley. Yeah. 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 We we're like, what are we talking about? Yeah. Hudson Valley. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it is also something because we're, you know, like performing these really traditional reimagined rituals right. through a diasporic lens. And so that is also something we think about, like what it means to perform and respond to spaces in Korea and also what it means to do rituals in like upstate New York. Yeah. True. Yeah. Do you have a f- background in film, or? Um, no, I have a background in painting. Um, Interesting. In oh. Yeah, and then when I got my MFA in filming, I went into genre, which is sort of, I feel like it's like where they don't know, like, you're not really putting into the category. Uh-huh. And that's where I started to, like, develop more of the performance film aspect. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, that, yeah. Do you want to get, do you guys want to talk about the shelves? It looks like a lot of work just building the shelves. Yeah. There. Oh, well, the shelves here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't point. But these are um, these are objects. Yeah. yeah. So the, a lot of them sort of didn't make it, but they're shipped from Korea. We made them um, with the help of Korean artists. Mm-hmm. And um, during the And this, this was kind of a fun project uh, because when we're making these, we found the potter in Korea mm-hmm. and we kind of convinced him um, for us to work there. <laughs> so we were like bothering him every night and we, we worked um, pretty aggressively in, in, throughout the night. So, wow. Yeah. yeah, so we work like sometimes we'll get there at like 8 p.m. and work till like 3 in the morning. Yeah, right, the off hours. Yeah. yeah, and they will yeah. be there uh, the whole time, like hanging out with us. Um, but it was really interesting because we got, we got to see like the traditional Korean um, pottery and, and the way of making, and also right. we yeah. got to use their traditional clay that's from um, that town. Oh. So, so that's something like we could have never done in, in America. True. And yeah. we brought that back here. They're not in one pieces, but you know they're they're here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. 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 We, we learned that we need to pack a little better. That's yeah. the next thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like in your, I feel like in your sculptural works, works there are like motifs that are running throughout, like the vulva shape or the fate, like the, yeah. the, the mask almost. Is that? Yeah. So this yeah. is um, these are molds of my face and Nick's face, um, and this is also um, like a mythological creature. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, and yeah, and so these garments were also used during a performance. Oh. Um, like they're frozen in a gesture referencing this equity dance, which is a shamanic dance. Right. Um, so that's kind of like the gesture, the sort of like fabric that they're holding. Ooh. Yeah, the, the red is so bloody too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not a romantic like, red. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fairly recently we started working um, and collaborating with the shaman. Oh. Um, and he, well, he when we initiated the shaman in October. Yeah. Um, and so we, um, I mean, just talking to him has also been super informative because you read a lot, you research a lot, but it's quite different to someone who that is their primary practice mm-hmm. and career. Um, but yeah, we have also a performance in mind where he will perform these rituals that um, imbue different objects with people's dreams oh. and have an exchange. Wow. Um, so that's really interesting. And uh, just from your previous experience, like showing your work, like um, because the subject matter, also the garments and uh, some of the themes, I can see it's 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 from Eastern traditions. Yeah. And like, is that something that's been brought? Because I maybe I'm because I'm Asian too, but yeah. some of it I just don't see. I see it more as universal and as like a ritualistic ceremonial experience. I wonder how like. How, what's kind of the, what are the kind of responses that you've gotten? Yeah, like, uh, it's it's really read. interesting. Yeah. I feel like we really emphasize that they're reimagined mm. um, and that they don't follow this really like strict, specific historical canon. Right. Like, they reference it, like they reference the Sakum dance, they reference the rituals, but that they are very much reimagined and reinterpreted. Oh. Um, and I think that that sort of makes sense for us because we are coming in things from a diasporic lens and exactly. I feel like I mean even just like on a personal level when you like practice these rituals that are sort of like separate from their like original country they naturally become something like reimagined yeah and so I think that that's something that is important to emphasize yeah. it's beautiful yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh wow yeah this is the Another piece, yeah, the majestic. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh, is that epoxy? Yeah, it's a resin? lot of it is held together by epoxy. Right. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of land here, and I uh, think that that's something that we wanted to think about. Them, maybe not so much these two, but right. um, the other ones. They kind of want, we wanted them to be like little like slices of land. Oh. Um, there is like a idea of like garment to land especially because these garments were performed on land gotcha yeah, yeah. no i'm so excited to see <laughs> what's gonna all come up to yeah <laughs> and yeah right now it's all kind of in pieces but the next time it will all kind of be pieces. any upcoming uh, events or shows that, or you're gonna have you're gonna be in the office show that's yeah, we're coming up <laughs> Great. Yeah. But one step at a time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. First, we just want to yeah. like me. Settle in, yeah. and <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we'll link we'll link everything in in the caption below. So, I'm gonna go check out the office show when it opens yeah. on September seventh. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.